All right, folks, the deck is Cute Paladin. The goal of the deck is to collect a whole bunch of zero mana minions, play things like Righteous Cause and Dunbaldor Bridge to buff them up on board. And we can buff them up with Hobgoblin since a lot of the zero mana minions are one ones. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash roll. Watch this! I will I feel like the bridge and Hobgoblin are a little redundant. Definitely don't need both, but I guess I can coin the bridge and then get a Hobgoblin turn to follow it. That might be too slow is the problem, and it isn't very good unless I have a broom, but maybe it's my only chance. Goobini, thank you for the five months. That's something. Kind of need to get this down now. That's so slow. But, like, the reason I need to get this down is that it doesn't matter. This game's already over. But, like, I need to find a broom or I can't win, so. We're gonna need more well, I did hit the broom. Can I survive another? There's no way, right? I think it just has to be a hobgoblin turn. I don't have to give up the coin just yet. These animations are brutal. This goes here. Protect the hobo. Alright. Maybe it's not GG. Feed the fish, God's lover. Alright, I just need to recollect some uh low cost minions for the bridge turn. I don't think I want to give up the broom here. Could potentially get the Rokara down, but... Looks like they might have a first mate. Ganon is not a first mate. This is why I wanted to keep the, uh, the broom. Oh wait, wow, they're far further behind than I thought. Honestly, that's probably a good thing. True strength comes from within. Wow. Well, the deck finally did its thing, I guess. Believe in yourself. <laughs> Alright. Ariel finishes things off next turn, and, uh, pretty good.
think I have lethal here. Tiny thin lethal, in fact. Just gotta hope they don't draw well. That's very bad. That just <laughs> this is maybe the worst possible early game draw that I could get. Oh, this is actually a more reasonable matchup than I thought. Um, the problem is that a single card could potentially clear my entire board. Lothab helps though. Okay, so I want to set up a Lothab lockout turn. That means I need to find the bridge. Found it. Believe in yourself. Really want to get this down though. Sure. I don't have to go in on the Lothab next turn. I can draw if they don't like set a frog here. But I have like I have a couple turns to make my decision still. Wait, that's devastating. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong one. I thought it was the double. Okay, next turn is our go turn. The this actually makes a big deal because um, getting things out of range of four is or three is important. Wait, is a big shaman? Oh. I just misread the deck. The battle. I see. I can't play Ancestor's Call this turn. Shouldn't be able to play anything. It seems like another matchup where Lotheb is going to be useful. I will fight with honor. Keep the pride and uh Oh. Well, is bound to do something, right? Bethune. I mean, if we get if we time things right, the seeds won't be that bad because we can just have a bridge in play when we get hit by the seeds. I would rather just uh like a Lothab on the turn that I go in anyway. Hey, there he is. Why do you think they gave the weapon five charges if it can't break? Well, it can't break. And there's also things that like remove weapon charges, so. 
And I think it's mostly just about being the inverse of uh, Rokara's weapon. Because of the unstoppable force of movable object meme. Dump these two in favor if I want to, but we'll see what we hit here. I'd rather just draw a Vindicator. Hmm. Yeah, let's go in partially, just so that I can get the uh, Divine Favor out. And by partially, I mean entirely. It turns out. I don't have enough mana. Okay. We can go bridge and Christology next turn. But I need to clean these off somehow, so hopefully I have enough can summons. Is that a thing I actually want? Like, this board needs to go, and I don't need to get it to go. Hero power? Probably for mana, if I had to guess. End of it all would be nice. Confirmed. Okay, I've got a good turn. Eight or nine, at least. And Cariel helps if they end up with a spreading plague here. And I could even just wait until turn ten. Get real greedy with it. Work in some hero powers while I'm getting there. That rope's burning again. Okay. Just gonna continue taking it slow. That kind of tips off that they don't have a um, spreading plague, I would say. Next turn, unfortunately, I lose this, so I have to go here and here a power, and then it's probably a uh, a turn ten go with uh, hobgoblin, uh, lotheb, and the second righteous cause. This must be the way. And even go here, here, and then hero power. Because everything but the uh, room would probably be a good hit. Oh. Okay. Still want to get the Lothab and the Hobgoblin down, I think. Unless I'm just, like, in a place where I can be threatening lethal. That rope's burning again. Probably less likely now that I played that, but turn is a go. They might be able to solar... No, they won't be able to solar a, uh, a 17 mana. Maybe they will be able to solar a uh, Cthulhu piece that clears. Again. 
Wait, the buff landed on the Lotha. That's actually a big deal. Also a big deal that they're using the Solar Eclipse here. Especially for draw. It's desperate. Whoopsie. Into plague here. Uh, none of the remaining cards in my deck are really playable. I don't think they knew how that was going to work. But I sure did. They can't play a spreading plague here. Yeah, they did a bit of an oopsie there. Keep the bridge, uh, keep the pause. None Need to find Lothab. Probably just gonna rip this on one. Either coinless or coin the bridge. I think I would rather play the bridge and then follow it with a low tub. Early tracking is a good sign, so maybe that means I coin the indicator. Problem is, if I hit uh, divine paper, I'm kind of unhappy about it. Much better. Got a pretty good turn four. That was a really good draw, actually. Because now I can just spam five zero mana cards and get them to four, which is a... Sure. Okay, we got the carryall as well. This seems all right. The opponent is not making much progress here either. I'm like a Lotha, but away from... Uh... Okay, I think I want the target dummy to go last. So that all of these can get the four health that I desire. And then target dummy just kind of naturally has that. And then already challenges the Cold Light Oracle, so... Incredible. It's like Quest Rogue, but with uh, extra steps. Yep. That looks like it can seed to me. Been nice to get this off of the Vindicator because Warlock holds cards. Maybe it'll be a cute mirror. Pleasant feast of Winter Vale. Happy feast of Winter Vale, champion. 
It is cute. All right. Who would win? One tubby goblin or one discardy boy. You are not the boss of uh oh. Really need to find a broom. One more turn. True strength comes from within. Yeah, this finds me a burn every time, right? Oh, thank God. Believe in yourself. All right, just don't die here. Does Goblin go first, or the four mana objective? Does the order of the play matter? The order of the play doesn't matter because it's uh, when you play it. So when you're playing it, it has one attack before either of the because it happens before either the buffs resolve. Oof. This deck is gross. Keep up the aggression. Oh, I forgot to put that card in my deck. Oh no! I'm so embarrassed! So awkward. Believe in yourself. I mean, we took them off the board, but at what cost? GG. Alright, what's a low performing card in this deck right now? Gotta keep the broom in this matchup, which means the Hobgoblin is the play. I think I'm just okay holding on to zero mana minions as well because I have like a turn four go. Turn five if I want to get greedy for the uh, bridge, but I don't have a bridge, so I'm just gonna hold this hand. Oh my god. I mean, realistically, I could go in next turn. But that makes it less good to go in this coming turn. Um, glitchy, thank you for the gifted sub. I want to be able to decimate this cannon on the... Uh, and not have the cannon blow like blow out the board that I do make, especially if they have a brigand. Yep. No need to get any greedier than this. Gotta try and preserve this as best as I can. the anchor. They could get the cannon shots this turn. 
but it's pretty likely the hobo sticks. I don't. Oh. Face, please. Okay. I'll take one to face, that's fine. This goes here. That's the card I was looking to hit. I think I'm willing to give up uh, one damage to protect the Hobgoblin a little bit better here. But um, I don't want to leave a pirate on the board into a captain turn. Oh my god! <laughs> well, apparently those two are just ready to take a beating, but... They have an anchor in hand, and there's just no reason to leave that on the board if I don't have to. So Pirate Warrior is a bad deck now, loses to Cube Paladin? Yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing that can be true after this. Uh, we don't have Lethal, but I can draw some cards with the Ride. Which can maybe allow me to get this down. I don't have any way to do cannon shots next turn, so. Sorry, Tiny Thin. Hobgoblin works wonders with Samuro, right? Yeah, but it's kind of expensive. You would rather just do that in hand buff where you can um, get rewarded with uh, holding Samuro, which is what Sam like the deck wants to do anyway. So, like, the, the timing works a lot better in a deck like hand buff than it would in a deck like this for uh, buffing Samuro. I need a buff and I need a uh, draw. Found draw. Maybe the draw can get me to the buffs. Uh, that's Kingsbane. Then the dummies need to be held. I don't know what else it would be, to be honest with you. Looks like I need a broom right now. Is there actually a fine fair amount of minion pressure? Alright, next turn are we going on that? True strength comes from the hmm. Double divine favor is not what you want to see. Aggro Rogue, I guess. I think it's just Kingsbane and maybe they missed the... Like, I don't know. We don't really know enough about the deck based on the cards they played so far. Wait, what? They just gave up a Patches? Well, I am glad that I waited. I almost went in last turn.
didn't give this rush like I should have. Still could just be aggro. I don't know if aggro wants to run the buck, though. That looks like an expression. No. Okay. Kind of done with the... Uh... It's kind of awkward timing on the... Yeah, they can't even... Speaking of awkward. Kind of awkward drawing both Divine Favors. Wow, that is really, really unfortunate for them. Oh, never mind. That is really, really fortunate for them. Oh, they're trading. Oh, thank god they're trading. It's gotta mean it's Kingsbane, right? Otherwise you just, like, ship everything face. Play an Arcane Intellect here. We hit the carry L for next turn. The battle. <laughs> Means I probably just hold the zero mana minions. Keep your enemies close, and your shit is close. Okay. Really glad I hit that carry L now. So this is two, five, six, seven, eight. It's gonna be one off, but as long as I have a buff target, I think it's fine. I'd rather just have the attackers and uh, the immovable object's gonna do some serious work right now. Yeah, it was Kingsman. They just did not hit a weapon fetch early. Oof. Room. Oh, weird game. We're both just kind of like limping across as uh, the the new heroes. Both of us just kind of puttered out at the end. I didn't draw a single bridge either. Is uh, part of it. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Huynh, Fizzle Jizzix, Gian Rusi, Battlefly, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Horback, Noggleshire, Nate Drex, Saint Arthur, Shadow1TV, Sognisman, and Vanfix.